this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and today I'm going to be unboxing and trying out my Dr. Squash kit. Dr. Squash, if you're not familiar with what it is, is branded as a men's soap, all natural soap, 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 all natural soap company that uses bars of soap, claims to have no chemicals, no toxins, it's just all natural ingredients that's used manly smells the commercials that you see on youtube and facebook they're very funny it's all tongue-in-cheek kind of humor at uh you know you tired tired of smelling like your mom's shampoo try dr squatch be a man and stuff like that their you know mascot is the sass squatch and this is dr squatch so um opening up the box now after cutting it the box right away smells good or i should say its contents probably smells good i decided to get the three bar of soap bundle, the shampoo, the conditioner, the candle, and the bar of soap holder to reduce the waste to make your bar of soap last longer. And like I said, it's a funny series of commercials. I guess their main product was probably soap, and then it, it expanded into shampoos and conditioners, and they have a uh, shaving creams and stuff like that. As you know, your your skin deserves to smell good and smell different than your mama's shampoo or whatever your wife happens to buy that's in the shower and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm happy with what my wife purchases, honestly, or what people get me for Christmas and birthdays of, you know, other leading brands of shaving cream, soaps, shampoos, conditioners. It's all good. But honestly, the commercials won me over. They're funny. I like the acting. It's silly, but... Fairly reasonably priced. This is not the kind of product that I normally buy. Woo! Almost dropped it. But, you know, that's a good case of advertising working out well. But now the important thing is, how good is it, right? So I'm going to open this video, show you the contents, give you my impressions early on of what the smells are like and stuff like that. Go ahead and take a shower, and then come back, and then give you my very first impressions of what it was like to use some of this stuff and then maybe I will do a follow-up video some months later after the contents have run out and whether or not I will be getting a second purchase. So my first purchase, taking these guys out, are the three bars of soap. I decided to go with these three. Pine tar, supposedly the most popular one. It's pretty strong. Smells good, but different. Smells very foresty, but good. It's an exfoliating bar, too. Some of these also have an exfoliating agent, so it's a little bit scrubby, so it scratches the dead skin, scale, dead skin cells off. But that's that one. Pine tar. Gold moss scrub. Similar, but less strong than pine tar. And then cedar citrus. Probably the weakest of the scents. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of a scratch. Still smells good, kind of pleasant, but probably pine tar is the strongest. And a golden moss scrub, comparable but not as strong, but still pretty good. They're different, though. And then we've got, let's see, men's moisturizing shampoo and men's daily conditioner. The men's moisturizing shampoo is Cypress Coast. Let's take a whiff. Okay, take this guy off. Pretty good smelling. If I remember correctly from reading online, it's a very small amount of actual shampoo you have to use to get really sudsy and stuff like that. I think it said you know, use a dime's worth, and then this 8-ounce jar, which is a lot smaller than, you know, the shampoo that my wife gets me and stuff like that, um, should last a long time because it's more concentrated, it's more natural, less waste is going to other components of the shampoo that doesn't need to be there, you know, that don't need to be there. Cool citrus for the conditioner. Let's see. I'm excited. It's kind of fun trying something new. It's not my normal thing. 
I like that quite a bit. The cool citrus conditioner. Okay. The true test will be how does the bathroom smell afterwards? Is it like I'm in a forest? Is it like I'm in, you know, a waterfall setting? Does my wife like the way it smells? This, I believe, is the candle. That'll be interesting. I have a good smell coming out of this, so let's see what this is like. I think this is the candle. Oh yeah, something in my hand smells good. This thing is nice. Bay rum scent. Island tropics with spice. That's a pretty strong, nice smelling candle. Mmm. That might be my favorite fragrance of anything I've smelled so far. I liked pine tar. It was different. And golden moss scrub, like I said, comparable, but less strong. Cedar citrus? I guess I'm smelling it a little bit more now, maybe after I scratched it and stuff like that, but that seems to be the most basic. Oh, I think I got something bonus in here, so I'm going to save that for last. Because this is a soap saver. So normally, you know, the problem with a bar of soap is you put it on your uh, porcelain or whatever kind of countertop material you have, plastic, and then because it's wet underneath, it stays there and you peel it off and you lost a little bit of soap each time and your bar of soap doesn't last that long. But this should make, well, this should make this last longer since you put it on top and it'd be airing out its wood. It has a draining, draining spot. Yeah, I'm not going to smell it because, well, I might as well. <laughs> Smells like the soaps that it was um, in a box with. Okay, so here's the bonus thing because I don't recall ordering anything else. Oh, never mind. It came with the bundle. This is their, uh cologne I think yeah in the bundle it came with a small little cologne guy dr. Squatch crushed pine cologne yeah this is definitely like a, a single dab put on you or something like that okay the seal is now cracked that smells pretty good kind of like pine tar so, you know, I got a very foresty set. There's foresty sets, there's beach sets, different things like that. Let's see, how much did this cost again? Mm, it wasn't too expensive. I also got it on their discount because if you get a bundle, it's an automatic discount. Also, uh, they have a 20% off code for first time buyers. So I think it was only like 56 bucks for all this stuff. 56 bucks, three different types of soap. Each one should last me like three weeks or so, maybe. A good bottle of shampoo and conditioner. That'll probably last me for a few months, I'd imagine. The candle, we'll see how often I use it. Maybe every night, hard to say. The crushed pine cologne. It's such a small container of half an ounce, half a fluid ounce, but you're only using a dab at a time, so that could last several months. And this guy, well, probably will have it forever, and especially if I like the product enough and continue to use the bars of soap and order from them going on. Like I said, very little risk just trying out something fun for 56 bucks and getting all of this stuff. Kind of worth it. Make a fun video, give you my honest reaction, and, you know, this will be the thing that will stay in the shower long run if I go with bars of soap as my go-to from now on once these run out. Or if I don't see that much of a difference and I go back to, you know, regular bottled soap, shampoo, conditioners that my wife gets. But, yeah, Smooth Squatch Forest Cedar Citrus Bar Soap, Gold Moss Scrub Bar Soap, Pine Tar Bar Soap, Candle 7.2 ounces, crushed pine, organic cologne, conditioner, soap saver, wooden soap dish, and shampoo. Shower facts. Guys take showers more frequently than women. 7 per week versus 6.4. With an average shower lasting 13 minutes. I'm actually a fairly quick shower goer where I take about 5 minutes or so per shower. Um, I do take showers fairly often. 
I teach karate, I teach taekwondo, I teach jujitsu, I teach MMA. I'm a university professor where I'm teaching martial arts. I have my own dojo. I have my own side business. I'm a personal trainer. I stay fit through my job. I exercise on my own, but I'm also teaching others different forms of exercise and martial arts, personal defense, etc. So I kind of need to shower often because otherwise, even though I eat pretty healthy and don't have too much of a stink on me, eh, the stink piles up especially when I'm grappling with other people and getting their sweat on me and on my geese and whatnot. But right now, I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to use pine tar. I'm going to use my shampoo for the first time, my conditioner for the first time. And I'm going to do a little dot of uh, this cologne for the first time. That I'll probably save for when I come back for the video. I'm not going to video myself video myself in the shower sorry <laughs> or you're welcome depending on <laughs> who you are apologize for not and um yeah or you're welcome for not uh, depending on, like i said depending on who you are but i'll do a video when i come back and i'll let you know my first impression and like i said probably a couple of months from now when i've used up this stuff enough times to get a real good sense of do i like it or not do i recommend it or not I'll put up with that second video. Anyways, shower time. See you in a few. All right, and I'm back with a new shirt on, Nintendo 64. Gotta love it. <laughs> uh, fresh shirt, no extra scent on me other than the smell that I'm smelling off of myself from just taking a shower. Now, the shower itself smelled good. Like, the soap smelled good. I smelled... Um, I used pine tar, I should say. The soap smelled good outside. It was different, you know, kind of very nature-y like a pine tree because it is pine tar, right? Uh, but when it got into the shower itself, maybe it's the hot water, maybe it's lathering it up, the suds coming out, exfoliating on my body, but then it really popped. Like, that soap, that bar of soap was really quite nice. And the shampoo I used... And it was a nickel's worth, not a dime's worth. But as I squirted out a nickel's worth on my hand and used it in my hair, I didn't really feel like it was cleaning it that much. But that might also be because I had hair gel in my hair. So I kind of rinsed it out. Then I used another nickel's worth. And okay, now my hair was sudsy and it felt like it was really cleaning it. And, you know, my hair feels good right now. I don't know if it's any different yet than normal shampoo other than the smell smelling less fruity like and more you know naturey i don't mind the fruity stuff honestly like i'll use my wife's stuff that she buys and it's all good but this was different and it did smell good and i liked it uh so shampoo quality wise smelled good first use was fine might have to actually use more than a nickel's worth, but then again, that could be because I just had hair gel in and kind of needed two batches, one to sort of get it out and one to clean the hair further. The conditioner is also a nickel's worth, and it's different than normal conditioner. Like, it didn't really feel like it was still glued to my hair and you had to rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse to get it out. It just kind of rinsed out pretty nicely, so I kind of like that fact. As far as softness goes and whatnot, like, I don't know, like, it feels about as soft as it normally does. Like I said, it might take some weeks to notice a difference, if there is a difference. But the bar of the soap, the bar of soap was my favorite part of the shower and using it. So that was different. It smelled really nice. All three scents did pop, though, from the bar, the shampoo, and the conditioner once it hit the hot water, once it was in the bathroom. I have walked back into the bathroom just before filming this shot right here. And I'm like, man, this makes the bathroom definitely pop with a smell a lot stronger than after a normal showering experience, you know? So the last thing I'm going to do right now, I still have yet to try out the candle, which I will do another time. But for now, the last thing I'm going to do is their organic cologne, the crushed pine cologne. Place a few drops on your pulse points as needed. 
Dr. Squatch All Natural Cologne uses organic wildcrafted oils to create the perfect scent for the wild, gentlemen. Okay. So I didn't even know, like, am I gonna go palms or am I gonna go stick it on my neck? All right. Couple on the palms. Let's see what this is like. All right, here we go. One. Hmm. Kind of came out. Two. Hmm. This is coming out. I don't want to put too much, but it's not really coming out yet. Okay, it's a little bit of a harder press. I was being kind of gentle. Oh, okay, so you gotta definitely give it a good press. I was being kind of gentle because I don't want it to come out gushing at once, but if you don't tap it hard enough, then you're just getting a little bit on there. All right, I guess we'll do this. And, oh, that's definitely strong. Okay, whoo, that's pretty strong. <laughs> Maybe I put a little bit too much. Maybe not. Maybe it's just some strong stuff, but I didn't want to overdid it. I didn't want to overdo it. And maybe I did. We'll find out. Uh, I can smell it. It smells good, don't get me wrong, but it is pretty strong. So probably only one nice tap, not two, not multiple. Just one nice tap is probably enough. But that is my review at least in the here and now, kind of unboxing slash early impression review. Don't really know too much about the product yet and how it will suit me well, but mm, I like it. Good smells, fun packaging, cool product, reasonably priced, not too much of an investment to give something new a shot, but I will come back in several weeks or so and give you my more detailed, honest impressions of what did I think of everything after I've been using it for a while. All right, thanks for watching. This is Paul Gale Network signing out. Till next time. Thanks, Dr. Squatch. Bye.